we are going to see if this little ranch is going to make you some money. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks. Welcome back to another episode of the MLS Search and Nails show. Today, I'm James Wise, by the way. Today, we're going to be seeing if... This little tiny ranch, this little guy, this little titty bitty guy going to make some money for Dee Dee and Fred. And I think it will because this thing, folks, it's looking good, man. Look at this. Now, I don't think it's like 100% rent ready, right? I think we're going to need to do a little bit of work. But from what I'm looking at, it looks pretty cool. It looks like we're just going to need to do some cleanup. Now, normally I like to go uh, varying colors between the trim and the wall, but I do not think at this point in time it's going to be necessary to repaint the unit. So in a subsequent turnover when we get to that point, yeah, we'll probably go agreeable gray with the white trim. But if when we actually physically get inside of this thing, it turns out we do not need to paint this moment to get the next 10 in there i don't think we need to spend that cost right i'd like to keep you guys this cost uh as minimal as humanly possible on this one right because the property itself is a little overpriced but we'll get into that right uh it's nice though everything's convenient one floor you got the stackable washer dryer ready to rock for them tenants you got the hardwoods flowing throughout the whole thing i really think uh you know, just not much needs to happen. Maybe do a little something with this backsplash here. Uh, maybe. Maybe cover that up. I have budgeted a little bit of, of repair funds. Like, you know, I, I like when my team gets in there. We like to remove things like these ceiling fans. I mean, don't get me wrong. That's a pretty decent-looking ceiling fan. Decent-looking window treatment. But guess what, folks? Tenants break both of those, right? If you provide your tenants window treatments and then they break them, what do they want you to do? They want you to provide new ones, right? So we eliminate that issue. Ceiling fans, dude, kids, they hang on them for some goddamn reason. I don't know why it sounds insane, but I've been doing this a long time, and that's how the cookie crumbles in the jungle, baby. Uh, so, you know. We just got to eliminate problems. But other than that, just this nice little ranch. Everything is looking pretty good. You got the furnace and the hot water tank. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. These are not brand new, okay? This bad boy is definitely over 20 years old. This bad boy is probably 5 to 10. These last 30 years cost 3 Gs to replace. These last 15 years, they cost a G to replace. Bear that in mind, okay? But all that's going to be baked into the cake when we see how much I want you guys to pay for this. Now, notice there is no garage here. I want you guys to take a thousand bucks and install a little shed so you don't have to pay my team to cut your grass, right? We'll have the tenant do that, right? And the property address is 12613 Milligan. It's been on the market two months, and that price is 549. I think that's too damn much, okay? What I would like to see you guys do. Pick it up at 40 okay? I think 40 is the right price for this. And then, look, I got 5 k budgeted here, right? Now, it looks pretty good, pretty close to rent ready. I know 1000 is going to go towards putting a shed in there so you don't have to pay my team to cut the grass. If you want to pay my team to cut the grass, you can. Uh, it's going to be, it's going to average out to 44 bucks a month, right? Obviously, we don't cut the grass in the winter, uh, but the way, the way it pans out, right? It ends up being like 528 or something like that for the whole year. But assuming you want to save money, thousand dollars in the budget we're going to put that towards a shed and then another four thousand we got to clean it up get it rent ready make sure there's enough smoke detectors hot water uh smoke detectors carbon monoxide detectors change all the locks right it's listed on the mls you don't know how many people have keys to that you don't know how many people have uh keys to that who used to live there etc cetera, etc cetera. of course to protect you to protect us we're going to change the locks and then there's a couple extra bucks because i'm assuming the inspector's going to find a little something. Or when my team goes in to, to give the rent-ready uh, estimate to get this thing Section 8 ready, they always happen to find a little bit of this, a little bit of that, right? So I want to prepare you guys as best as I possibly can, right? We're all about transparency at Holton Wise, okay? So 5Gs. I think 5Gs should cover that. With all that, what are we going to get? We're going to get a tenant paying 900 Now, if you're wondering why it's a little bit less than the previous property I just showed you, it's because this one's a 2-1, right? Section 8, they're going to give you more money based upon the number of bedrooms. That makes sense. So this one should be 900 
I anticipate your average monthly performance spending 434 a month on average. That's 5208 for the average year, a normal year, leaving you to clear 55, almost 5600 for the year. Okay. Now this one actually is going to pencil out to be a higher return than the other one, even though we're getting less in rent because we need to do less up front. It's closer to being rent ready than the other one, right? You remember the other one was a little rougher. I think the all-in investment, 45 Gs, it's going to uh, pencil out to a 12.4 cap. Same deal, right? Similar type mortgage arrangement here. $10,000 down, $30,000 is what the bank's going to lend us. And then this time, we only have to put in 5K up front as opposed to what I estimated on the last one, which was 10K. So this one should pencil out to be a 27.2% return on your cash. And one more kicker to this one that the last one didn't have is this one is what I would consider a little bit higher quality of neighborhood. That said, I still think it's paramount you guys go Section 8 because you're still going to deal with that risk. And then, of course, right now we're dealing with COVID. Uh, so, you know, that's the biggest risk to lower income investing, right? It's, you know, your tenants don't pay rent. That, that just leads to a whole bunch of costs, right? First of all, you're missing out on the income, number one. Then you got to spend money to get rid of them, number two. Then you got to clean up the property, but then the property's vacant. That's when criminals come in and fuck your property up, right? So long story short, if you're trying to invest in real estate, what you need to understand is vacancy is bad. It's the worst freaking thing. It is our uh, kryptonite, right? If we're Superman, this is our kryptonite, okay? So... Are you a lender? If so... Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. We want to keep butts in the units. Section 8 is going to help do that. It's kind of like the cheat code to low-income investing. So I think this property... Definitely uh, checks all the boxes that you guys have, and, and then some, right? You guys are hoping for an NOI of 300 a month, right? This one clears that, right? It's 486 or 466, rather. And even after you pay the mortgage, it still clears to 300, right? You guys are hoping for an 8 cap. This is 12, right? So I think this one's nice. The other one, also very nice. That, uh, you know, cleared all your goals as well. So I think both of these particular properties we want to make offers on, I can't guarantee you're able to take both of these down because remember, in both of these scenarios, we're lowballing those sellers a little bit. But guys, it's not about just giving sellers what they want. It's about picking these properties up for the right prices. That's how we build our profitable real estate portfolios. That's what I'm trying to do for you guys. Now, Dee Dee and Fred, this is the second video I did for you. I am going to do a third one for you here shortly. Before I do that, though, I need everybody else to know that if they want to work with me in the same way I'm working with you guys, all they have to do is send an email to my team at sales at HoltonWise.com. Include your phone number. We'll call you, talk to you about the process, or if you're ready to order a package right now, you can do so by clicking the show notes below. Dee Dee and Fred, I got one more property for you guys today. I'm going to film that thing for you right now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.